Most portraits deal with the artist's interpretation of what the person is. And I wanted to deal with appearance. It takes all my energy to get the appearance right. And what the, the inner life of the person is something I'm absolutely not interested in. This exhibition is called Alex Katz, 45 years of portrait, 1969 to 2014. Um, we're here in Pantin, it's a little bit outside of Paris, um, at the gallery, at the Israel Park. Um, we're working with Alex Katz since um, almost 25 years now, uh, having organized exhibitions in Europe um, and also in Paris. And one dream was always to kind of make a real survey show. When we looked at these, uh, especially women portraits from the 70s and 80s and what he has done recently, we realized that, of course, it's not only about the expression of the woman, it's not only about her face, it's not only about her hair, it's also about the jackets and what these women were wearing. So, in a way, it was interesting to kind of involve a curator or writer and we we're very happy to involve Susie Menkes, who is a renowned writer on fashion in the last 30 years. Sentimental ideas of art is that a, a, a great masterpiece is here for all time, or, or eternity is forever. But for me, forever is only in the present tense. And in that sense, good art is like fashion. You know, he's an artist who started his work in the 50s and he was constantly interested in uh, reinventing portraiture. He often was quoted as American pop artist, which I think he's not. Um, he's a very individual artist who went through all these years, painted all these years, and when you look today into his entire oeuvre, it is a statement about portraiture, it's a statement about the second half of the 20th century, it's a statement about America and New York, it's about a certain urban environment of artists because most of the people he paints there are other artists, either dancers or writers or painters. I'm amazed at how time has made that painting more palatable because when it was new, it was really raw. I mean, people liked it and didn't like it. The actions were very violent. I think most of the people look at the dance painting now uh, seem to accept it, but it wasn't that way when it was new. We were very proud to get certain loans, and I think um, uh, Private Domain is one of these paintings. You know, it's a painting from 1969. It, it's one of the key paintings where he describes dance, but for us, there are like many portraits of dancers, so it was one of the key paintings we really wanted to have in this show. Um, uh, Nabi Loft is one of the other paintings where he describes a kind of urban New York situation from the 70s, where he went into the living room of people. Um, uh, when I think of the painting he did, in 1964 of a man and a woman and then he repeated the painting 30 years later and now these two paintings are hanging very close without any um, space in between. Um, I think those are certain highlights. And of course looking at Andres Katz and his portraits you also know that he left the painting on canvas and transformed it into a kind of semi-sculpture. So he used aluminium, he raised it away from the wall, or he made freestanding aluminium structures, but they're still paintings, they're kind of radical paintings, and this was a very important element for us to integrate in this show. Well, the cutouts uh, had to do with uh, the people and environment and the idea of life size and the uh, things of arbitrary endings. You know, once you uh, say the traditional endings on paintings are bust or neck, and you say, well, why does it have to end there? Why can't it end this way or that way? And so uh, it's, it's a little like a cubist space where they put the space in front of the object. I had a show in Baden-Baden uh, 
and everything looked great. And I said, the rest of my life is downhill. I'll never get anything that good. This is better.